Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. But I think the next phase beyond the lockdown is I think we're upon a Canadian election. I don't think that's going to come to you as news for me to say so. It wouldn't surprise me if the election is formally called in August when most Canadians are too busy enjoying summer and the barbecue circuit and traveling again for the first time in a year and a half. And I think Justin Trudeau, well, that'll suit him just fine. He won't have to do a lot of campaign events. He'll do a Joe Biden style, stay in the basement, don't take real questions style campaign and just sort of cruise into victory, which I'm afraid he'll win, judging by the polls. And it's not just one poll and not just one pollster. Every single poll shows that Aaron O'Toole is on a trend not just to lose the next election, but to lose badly, possibly even losing his own seat. In the Durham riding, he's actually lost votes every single time. He's at the risk of losing his own seat, which I think would do the Conservative Party a great favor. I think we have to cover the election in our passionate, high-energy way that we did last time, getting our reporters on planes flying around to where the news is, not just staying in the studio. I think, frankly, I've got to finish my new book and get that out quickly on Trudeau. I'm sure I'll get another inquiry and investigation and prosecution by Elections Canada. But again, that just goes to the need for these books because censorship is upon us. I think what we're going to see, especially in the next uh, election, is how soft the media has become. What several years of being rented out by Trudeau's media bailout really looks like. I think it is, without a doubt, that we and other conservative journalists will be kept out of the federal leaders debate, as was done to us last time. I think that's a certainty. I think if I write another book on time, I think it's a certainty that'll be prosecuted. But I think what will become more and more evident is that the rest of the media has just become ancillaries of the Liberal Party. And they really want Justin Trudeau to win again because that's who their de facto employer is. I think we're going to have some keen problems, some sharp acute problems if Trudeau does get reelected, as I fear he will in September. You know he was pushing to get C-10, his regulate the internet bill passed. It was a miracle it was stopped right before Parliament broke. And just before Parliament broke, they introduced C-36 to bring back the hate speech counterfeit right not to be offended, but with terrible new additions, like the fact that there will be secret witnesses and secret complaints and you can get someone arrested with a house arrest for a pre-crime that they haven't committed yet. Terrible things. You bet we're going to be, well, need both our journalism and our civil liberties litigation for that. Besides just those issues, though, I think Canada is going to be in for a bumpy ride. Did you know that our unemployment rate actually ticked up last month? It should be going down that we're coming out of the lockdown, shouldn't it? I think inflation, inflation is heating up. I think debt is at staggering levels. I'm really worried about the economy, actually, something I haven't said since 2008. I think what's very disturbing is how Trudeau wants to create a race war. I already showed you a taste of that uh, with the comments about burning churches. That indigenous woman who said, stop the hate, stop putting us against each other. We haven't heard anything that clear from Justin Trudeau. In fact, he only had this 16 second comment when he was asked about burning churches. Remember this? Hey, I also want to talk about the arson and vandalism we're seeing across the country targeted at Catholic churches. This is not the way to go. The destruction of places of worship is unacceptable and it must stop. We must work together to right past wrongs. Everyone has the role to play, not just institutions and organizations but all Canadians, Indigenous and non-Indigenous. Hey man, that's probably not the right way to go. Can you imagine such a tepid denunciation if it were Jewish synagogues or Muslim mosques being torched? I think Trudeau wants to limit Parliament. You can see he's already suing Parliament because the Speaker ruled against him. I think he wants to eliminate dissent in the media. I think he wants to control the internet, and I think he wants to keep the trappings of the quasi-police state that we had during the lockdown, which is one of the reasons he hasn't lifted the lockdown. We have the most bizarre and onerous quarantine rules in the world.
But what about us? We're going to keep the national law firm. We're going to keep our great team. They'll still talk about the lockdown, where it exists, but they're going to cover so many other issues. I feel like we've got our biggest team ever. We're going to fly a bit more again. We used to have people flying around like crazy. I think we're going to do that now that airlines are picking up again and there's more schedules. We're going to have events again. We were barred by law from having our big rebel conferences or our little rebel get-togethers. We're going to start. In fact, we got news coming very soon about our first big event, which will be in Alberta. That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a monologue on the news of the day, then I interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. You gotta subscribe. Go to rebelnews.com.